Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today we have our annual birthday party haul. Now, I'm probably going to push this video out a little bit um, sooner than I have previous years. The end of July and all throughout August is going to be so hectic. I have so many doctor's appointments between my OBGYN appointments, Ella's first dentist appointment, we have um, her first day of school coming, we have her birthday party obviously, it's just going to be a mess. So I just wanted to make sure that I could get this party um, haul situated and out to you guys and I don't even have to worry about it. So that's why we're here today and we are doing the annual birthday party haul. This is one of my favorite videos to film every year. I look forward to this every single year. And I feel like as the years have progressed, <laughs> the haul has kind of gotten smaller and smaller. But like the first couple of birthday parties I made really, really, really special. But my daughter is turning five years old and it's hard because she's just starting kindergarten and I'm an introvert. <laughs> so she doesn't really have like play friends besides like her cousins um, or if we go out to like I'll take her to little play places and she'll like meet little friends there but I don't socialize with the parents to do play dates. I've always had a really difficult time. I'm like a socially awkward person. That is no surprise. I feel more comfortable talking to a camera than I do a human being. So with that being said, I wanted to keep her birthday party very, very simple this year. It's pretty much I invited um, all family, which I do have some kids in my family. And we're gonna go to a public park. Uh, we're gonna be ordering some balloons. We have to do that a little bit closer to her birthday in August. And we're just gonna order pizza. Um, we're gonna make cupcakes. And we're gonna call it a birthday party because <laughs> It's kind of it's at, it's kind of like at that point where I was debating on going back and forth between like renting like a bouncy house place, but I'm like I don't have enough kids coming to do something like that. So maybe once she's in school and actually has school friends and can invite them to her, maybe her sixth birthday party, we'll do something like that. Um, but even then, the birthday party will be even smaller. But we still have one on the way, so we'll be able to continue uh, the birthday party trend for another one. We'll have two a year. Oh my goodness. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to stop my rambling because we have so much to talk about and so much to show today. Today is also going to be kind of a two-parter video. The first part, which is the entire haul, I'm showing you guys everything that I got. Um, and then the second part, hopefully tomorrow, um, you're going to see my daughter and I putting together the goodie bag. So uh, that'll be the second part of the video. But with that being said, you can see my DoorDash bag behind me that is currently filled with stuff and then I have two gigantic Amazon boxes <laughs> of uh, stuff as well. So we have a lot to go through. Um, I think I'm going to order, I, I think I'm going to open up the Amazon boxes first because there are also two birthday presents in here. We're getting her a big present but I also got her um, because her birthday party is not on her birthday this year. I wanted to have something that she could actually open on her birthday day morning as well so that's what's in here so let me stop rambling we're gonna go ahead open the first box I'm just covering my address why did I put it under my maiden name that's weird I was all cute earlier I had my hair done my eyelash was not hanging on by a thread um, and then I kept waiting for my delivery and waiting and waiting and waiting and it came a little late <laughs> but like I said the next couple of the, the next month or two are completely hectic so I'm like you know what I look like trash but that's okay I'll look better tomorrow all right so as I open the box this is what it looks like in case you're curious we have some of these little puffer bag things all right the first thing I am seeing on top forgot to mention we are doing a unicorn themed birthday party this year I, oh yeah I always ask um what kind of theme my daughter wants and that's the kind she wanted so um first things first is the goodie bags themselves these were super cute I think they came in a pack of 12 which is more than enough because I don't even think I have 12 kids coming so we are gonna have extra for sure uh, but these are the goodie bags 
that you guys will be seeing us fill tomorrow. I just want to pull one out. I am also fighting the light here. I am fighting. It is getting dark outside. It is now dusk outside. I have my ring light. Maybe I can turn that up a little bit, but I'm also afraid it's going to overexpose. Let's see. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Maybe... Mm trying to get creative here. I just went ahead and set up another little light here in the corner. So hopefully it'll help with my uh, situation here. But let me show you guys one of these little goodie bags. So it's just this little cardboard. Oh Lord, you can't see that a little bit, but you're definitely going to see it better tomorrow. It has like the little bow, sturdy cardboard though. How the heck? Oh my God. It's Velcro, how fancy. I didn't know it was Velcro. <laughs> Did not know that, but that's cute. And uh, so pop open like that. We'll fill these all up with the uh, stuff that I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be real cute, but like I said, we're probably gonna have some extra. Oh, do not fold back down. The next thing that I see, okay, so we are starting, let me put that aside because that is kind of like the, the, goodie bag stuffers we'll get into. Here is one of her presents. I'm gonna keep that cardboard box. Uh, but here is one of her little gifts. And obviously it doesn't matter at this point if she sees this or not because she doesn't watch my videos, uh, you know, back until she's older, then she can look back and see what I got her. Um, but it is this Disney princess necklace activity. Uh, my daughter loves crafts and anything princesses, so I thought she might really like this. I can take it out of the plastic because um, I'm going to be wrapping these and wrapping paper for her. But uh, I, I thought this was really, really cute. So it has all the princesses. I don't know who the heck. I think that's supposed to be Belle because of her dress. Her hair is just throwing me off. But it looks like we have Tiana, Ariel, Cinderella, Belle, and Snow White uh, kind of like DIY necklaces. So it has five Disney princess charms, five rubber band necklaces, and 150 beads. And this thing is like a little carrying case for all that. So thought it'd be really cute and I thought it would be something we could do together. So I'm gonna put that aside because I gotta hide that from her. Um, and now we are gonna get into the big old box. I think it's like 99% uh, stuffer stuff. Um, but I know there's also a couple other things in there as well, including, I think there's another little birthday gift in here for her. Let's see, let's see. I think this is the biggest package I have ordered in a real long time. All right, let's see. Oh boy, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. It's pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie. First things first on top, I think this is something. Oh, okay, you gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we can talk about this. So this, I ended up ordering um, a unicorn cupcake, like stand kind of thing because I found that with birthday parties especially, it's hard to do just one cake. Um, you know, you can and stuff. I've always just had better luck doing cupcakes and instead of like asking someone to do it or I don't know, I just figured it would be so much easier to do it myself this year. So the day before her birthday party, her birthday party is on a Sunday. The day before her birthday party, my friend who is also dating my oldest brother and my mom agreed to help me make unicorn cupcakes. Um, so I got this little, I don't, I don't wanna open up this whole thing cause I don't wanna lose any pieces, but it's just a three tiered, unicorn cupcake stand by the way anything that i ordered off of amazon i'm gonna leave a link down below i know a lot of little girls like that's huge is unicorn stuff so if you're interested in any of this um i'll leave it again down below anything that i didn't buy on amazon obviously won't be listed but i'll tell you where i got them um so we have that and i want to keep that uh separate because i have a little cupcake setup thing i'll show you guys and then i also bought um these little cupcake unicorn it's like a double-sided wrapper and topper now looking at them it looks like i'm actually gonna have to buy which makes sense <laughs> but i have to i have to make a note of this but i actually have to buy like cupcake liners too i don't know why i didn't think of that but it's no big deal um i might i might go on amazon again and see if they have maybe gold cupcake 
liners because the whole uh, color scheme of the party is like pink, blue, purple, and gold. Um, so yeah, these are just like the liners that would go around the cupcake. So one side you can see is a rainbow. The other side is like a unicorn face. So we can have, you know, some facing this way, some facing this way. And then these little pieces are just like the little horns and ears you stick right into the top of the cupcake. Um, so that's really cute. Again, I'm going to keep that with my cupcake stand. And I also bought special sprinkles. I think I bought two different kinds. Let me see. Gotcha. So I found um, these edible accent gold star cupcakes again because all of this is kind of DIY I didn't have any of this so we have these gold stars uh, but then I also bought this one is called sprinkle pop uh, it just seems like it's a mix of clear uh, again kind of the color scheme the pink blue purple um, gold sprinkles all in there they just looked super unicorn like so we're going to be using these two packets of sprinkles to de decorate our cupcakes as well i apologize my nails are also super overgrown <laughs> let's see what else we have this is what the heck oh these are the 18 unicorn oh okay we're we'll get into that in a second is there anything else that has to do oh i ordered two of those oh yeah that's because i was thinking about doing like about I don't remember how many. I think I was gonna do about 60 cupcakes because there's 32 uh, like cupcake liner and toppers in each of these. So I kind of wanted extra just to make sure and I wanted all my guests to have some and like my guests have family that are also coming. So I, I really didn't mind if we had extra cupcakes. It wasn't that big of a deal. I just wanted like more than less. And then I bought a two packs and these have says 16 so it has 16 big plates 16 little plates and 16 napkins and you can see that is still kind of like the same uh theme with the closed eye unicorns so super cute and they're good sizes and again we're just doing pizza and cupcakes i am gonna buy like bags of chips too and stuff but like you can only bring so much to a park you know what i mean so i didn't need to go crazy but i did buy two packs of these to make sure i had enough I have this little box in here, which I think, okay, yep, uh, we'll get into that in a second. I do have her other little uh, birthday present. My daughter loves spirit, loves horses, loves unicorn. So I bought her this little, it's like a spirit stable kind of thing. Um, so this and, again, this. And you know, of course, of course, if I see something else that I think she'll like, I'll, I'll pick it up from now. I still have over a month till her birthday party, so I'm sure she'll, she'll see something else. But she'll, she's gonna get so many presents for everyone else. I don't want to like also go crazy. Um, but anyway, so let me show you guys real quick. Let's finish with the cupcake stuff, and then I will show you what I got to actually fill up the goodie bag. So I, I kept this aside because I wanted everything separate <laughs> but I got this is like all the cupcake stuff guys so I bought um three aluminum tins to be able to once we make the cupcakes transfer them safely to the park oops I'm moving my camera I needed a way to safely transfer the cupcakes without them like getting smushed so um, again I got the three tins so we could like evenly distribute the cupcakes hopefully that'll be enough I think that would fit about 60 um, for the cupcakes themselves we are doing the funfetti um, premium cupcake mix does not want to it's focusing back here I don't know why um, but we're just doing fun funfetti I felt like it was like the most like unicorn kind of thing and then I also bought I have like five of these in here of uh, just plain vanilla frosting and what we're gonna do is my friend who's helping me is really good at decorating cupcakes we are probably gonna whip these up so they're it's like a little bit of a uh, fluffier cupcake and we're gonna pipe them on so I also bought bought pastel food coloring so that way we were able to um, uh, dye you know different frostings different colors so they weren't all white or they weren't all one color again super colorful super unicorn like the last thing in here for the cupcakes I also got these uh, spirits birthday candles and I think I just got these at Target because I have them in my hand I believe um, if it's not already up, there might be a vlog either up or coming up 
I know we go to Target together and I think I find these, but I just needed one <laughs> because I, you know, I'm not gonna put a candle in every single cupcake. I'm just gonna put a candle in Ella's particular cupcake, bring a lighter to the park and have her blow it out. Um, and these just kind of reminded me of little unicorn horns because of the spiral. So I do have silver and gold, so I probably will use a gold, uh, but I will have extra for future parties. So to try to keep myself organized, whew, I'm gonna put my cupcake stuff together. So, whoo, my goodness. So again, I'm gonna need all my sprinkles. So we'll put that, my cupcake liners right in there, my cupcake stand, which I will not, I'll probably not put this together until we even get to the park so it doesn't get ruined. Um, my plates, my napkins, that's all good. This, my goodie bags. Okay, so what's behind me in this flipping thing is pretty much all um, stuffer, a unicorn stuffer stuff. Anything that I could find, I might have gone overboard, <laughs> but anything I could find um, that was unicorn related, I, I pretty much picked up. So again, some of this comes from Amazon and I will let you know what comes from Amazon, but actually some of it comes from Five Below too. If you're hosting a party, I would go there. I, I was actually pleasantly surprised with what I found. Um, the first thing on top I'm going to show you because it has nothing to do with the stocking stuffers, but at Five Below they had like this little unicorn headband, so I figured I could get it for her. Um, to wear on the day of the party, of course, if she wants to. She doesn't have to, but I figured it was a cute little touch. So I'm actually going to put that in the cupcake stand so I don't forget about it because I've done that before. Um, but, okay, where do I begin? Let us start with these little boxes. Obviously, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I do want to open them up because when we put the goodie bags together tomorrow... Um, I want you guys to already kind of see what's what we have to work with and tomorrow is just gonna be kind of like a time lapse of my daughter and I putting these together so we're getting the nitty-gritty out of the way we'll get these boxes opened up as well and get ourselves organized so the first thing that I have Wow <laughs> why are there so many in here I do not read labels do I this is four dozen oh my lord Oops, okay, so these are little putties with glitter. Oh my, as soon as I opened them, I thought that, maybe I thought they would be bigger. Maybe I thought I said one dozen. Oh my goodness. I don't see the glitter. I don't see what glitter they're talking about, but um, they're all just, oh my God, they're all multicolored. <laughs> multicolored color glitter, so we have orange. Underneath we have, uh, green, yeah, try not to get them all messed up. We have blue, we have pink, we have yellow, we have like a, oh, it's a purple. And I, th I think that's all the co colors, but we have four dozen <laughs> of them. So whatever is extra, I'm probably gonna like put in a airtight container for my daughter to play with, like in a bigger kind of container. Oh my Lord. So that is the first thing we have putty. And then th these little things were just uh, temporary tattoos. Not sure if it's gonna show up quite well because white does not show up well on my camera. But yeah, they're just a little unicorn temporary tattoos for the, oh, there we go. Little temporary tattoos for the kids. And then these were really cool. I hope these are as cool as I thought it was. The box is kind of scaring me a little bit, but I think there was only, there's 18 rainbow unicorn horn chalks. How exciting does that sound? <laughs> I knew there would be extra, but my daughter loves playing with chalk anyway, so I, I didn't mind. All right, let's slide this off. I wanna see what these look like in person. All right, whoa, okay, so first of all, they have a little thing on here and it says, we are a small business trying to live the American dream. We are obsessed with creating magical products to review our lifeline your reviews are our lifeline, so we appreciate all reviews. Oh, very cool. So if you guys will do me a favor, um, go and support small businesses. That's so cool. Like, this is awesome. This is, um, it just says leave us a review at amazon.com slash feedback, but uh, you'd have to, like, click on the link for this. It says with gratitude, Mark, Laura, and Mark Kenia. But 
but it's like two different marks, marks with a C and mark with a K. So um, very cool. I always like supporting small businesses and supporting dreams, just like you guys are doing with me. I really appreciate it. So it does come with a little purple frillies on top. And then, oh, these are so cute. <laughs> so they're, I, I thought they'd honestly be a little bit bigger, but it's good that they're this size. So here is just one example of a unicorn horn. So you can see very faintly, uh, there's like purple, pink, and then like a yellow on the bottom. So they're different colors as well. Like that one is not the only color variation. I'm also seeing one that has green, blue, and pink as well. So very, very, very cute. Next we have is a box of unicorn stampers. Actually opens right from the top, which is very convenient. Oh, now I'm like ripping it. Ooh, very nicely organized and packaged. So it, again, it has like hot pink, blue, purple, and baby pink unicorn stampers, and they all have like different kinds of unicorns on them. So I don't know, maybe every one would get two, what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, yeah, for sure. I think each goodie bag would at least get two different kinds, and then whatever is left over, we have like a little craft corner downstairs. I'll put it away for my daughter. So, so far, everything that I have showed you for uh, like the good goodie bags um and pretty much I mean besides like some of the cupcake stuff that I got at Target like the the baking mix um but everything again will be linked down below but I believe what's in my door dashing bag all came from five five below uh so let's take a look so first I got these little um unicorn flingers I think honestly I mostly got them in this color and then I found one pack that had uh, two hot pink and white unicorns. I am like so good at forgetting to hand out goodie bags <laughs> at birthday parties. So what I'm gonna do this year, because there are things like that the kids can play with, you know what I mean? Like they can play with these unicorn flingers if they wanted to at the park. I think what I'm gonna do this year is pretty much like once they get there and once we eat, like I ha I'm having the party start at 12. So right at noon, um, I'm hoping to just order pizza, have everyone pretty much eat right then and there, and then um, have the kids just kind of play the rest of the time. So I think, right after we eat i'm gonna hand out the goodie bags one so i don't forget like i do almost every year um but also so that they have an opportunity to actually play with what's inside so we have a whole bunch of those um we also have these unicorn just like little cardboard glasses so uh the kids can play with those why did i buy so much stuff look i have this giant bag from target so i guess this wasn't all from five below but most of it was. I also figured it would be appropriate just to put a little bit of candy in each goodie bag as well. Um, so I just had, oh, here it is. So Five Below has this cool little um, like candy display as well. If you don't find anything else at Five Below for your birthday party, at least they have that. So I, I was trying to find like colorful candy. Um, so I, I got individual packs of the Fun Dip. I don't know if everybody knows what that is. Maybe it's just an American thing, I don't know. Um, but it's these little packs. They usually come in like a pack of three, um, but it's literally just sugar in one side. And then you have like this little white stick. You lick the stick, dip it in the sugar and kind of like eat it that way. Uh, so again, I got 12 because I knew I would have at least 12 goodie bags. So I got a variety of those. I think they only had two flavors though. One is like a blue, I think it's like Raz, Raz, Raz Apple, Raz Apple Magic Dip. And then the other one, the red one is a cherry dip. I was gonna get raw candy, but I have like younger kids coming too. So I was a little afraid of that. Um, so I also got some Airheads, which also isn't ideal, but <laughs> I felt like it was better and I ended up getting like two of a whole bunch of flavors in here. Um, so we have a watermelon, a cherry, strawberry, an orange, um, white mystery. I, I should have gotten extra because now I want to eat these. Uh, and blue raspberry. And I think that's all the flavors. And then I don't even remember. Oh, I do. So this stuff is from Target. Um, so I also got these little, I don't even know, is everything gonna fit in these little bags? Probably not. Um, but I got these little like squishy, ooh, light up balls for the goodie bags. I think I got one, two, I think I got three packs of those. 
Maybe not. Two, four, no, I got two because there's six in each bag. I got this big jumbo bag. It, it is open because I gave my daughter a couple, but it's this little bag of like a unicorn erasers, but they're almost like those puzzle erasers where like the hair will come off and the tail will come off. So it's just something kind of cute and fun. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of colors. There's yellow, pink, blue, and purple in here. I'm just gonna have to make sure that each goodie bag has a full unicorn. <laughs> One that's not missing a piece. Why did I get so much? Oh my God, I do this every year, I'm telling you. This haul is gonna be smaller. Nope, because I'm psycho. Oh look, a little unicorn hair. I'm almost done, guys. We have like, Literally, what, like three things left to show you. Um, so I also got uh, just a pack of stickers. And honestly, I figured I could just kind of chop these up and put them in each bag. I didn't feel like every kid needed like a full thing of stickers. Of stickers but there is 10 sheets all together um, so I can definitely I can see right here and there that some of these are gonna be a little bit easier to like like these two on the end um, you know I could cut into like strips that one's gonna be harder but I'll get creative so we have the unicorn stickers and then we also have these little unicorn notepads so I bought um, two packs of these as well because Again, they have six packs in each. Oh, God, look, God, why? I have three. Why? <laughs> I don't know, but I have three. Okay. <laughs> Mommy will honestly probably keep uh, a couple of these in my purse because I'm always jotting down notes, whether it's with YouTube or like right now, perfect timing. I, I need to buy cupcake liners. So like little things like that. I'm always forgetting stuff and I'm always jotting down notes. The very last thing I have to show you guys is is not exciting please let this be the last thing yeah okay um the last thing I again I'm gonna be picking up some balloons I think I'm picking up I bought four of these little gold weights um so I could bring them to the party with us and they wouldn't just you know fly away or I wouldn't have to like tie them on public property um so I got four of them and I figured what was it I think I, ha I was gonna have three balloons with each and then one I think I was gonna have three balloons tied to each I was gonna get um, pink purple blue yeah pink purple and blue I don't remember I had all this planned out pink purple and blue or maybe I was just gonna do pink and blue and then gold and then one unicorn balloon. It doesn't matter. I have four of these and I'm gonna order balloons um, again so we can have like a little birthday theme party. So that is it. Oh my goodness. That is it for the haul. I hope it wasn't too much. So again, in just a second for you guys, you're gonna see us kind of breaking all of this stuff open and putting the goodie bags together. So stick with us and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so this morning we are putting together the goodie bags. I figured the best way to not miss anything in this bag is just to do it one at a time. Uh, so I have all this stuff. Dad, can you grab me a pair of scissors, please? Um, I have all this stuff to put into the goodie bag, so we're gonna... Oh, yeah, do I put those little slimes on? I think that is all the stuffers that I showed you guys in the first part of the video. We got a lot on the floor going on here. Let me show you. Yeah, so we got okay. few of all these. Yes. So I think what we're gonna do, actually, I don't even need scissors for this. Yeah, because um, cause my, cause my little markers came with that pack. Like I said, we're gonna do one bag at a time so that way I can make sure every bag is getting the same amount of everything and we're not forgetting anything. Um, the other thing I have to do is still cut up this, um, sheet of stickers here. These are so cute because each of them has different color ones. Like these two have blue ones. These, actually they all, all have the same color. And look how adorable these are. They look like jelly, of course. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside this box. They're actually fun. Right, little lady, I think we are ready. So, let's start. You can put one unicorn in here. So pick, so pick, pick up two of those. Pink and blue. Pink and blue. Okay. There's a pink, now a blue. Okay. Uh, 
Pick out one notepad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pick that's going to be for Lily. Pick out um, two stamps. Do two different colors. So a hot pink so oh, and a purple. It also teaches her how to share. Yeah. Pick out, um, there's these kind and then there's other colors too down here. So you can pick out one chalk. Okay. Pick out two putties. Okay. Pick out one ball. You want to see me actually light it up? Sure. Ooh, and one ball. You know what? We're probably going to have to get creative with these, so I'm going to hang on to these because they're not going to fit, but we will still use them. Pick out one thing of stickers for them. Go right in. One tattoo. Oh, this one's a little princess. This one. What color fun dip? This one I was going to eat, but it's it it actually like sour. Mm -hmm. And one color airhead. Like airhead candy. That one's good. Alright, so just to make sure we have everything. So our first goodie bag is done. I'm kind of realizing that the little um, sunglasses don't fit so I'm gonna get creative and just like I'm gonna put like a piece of tape on the back or something just so they don't get squished but we have one one done 11 to go. <laughs> couple items so the items that I ran out of I ended up putting like extra of other stuff but I'm also gonna mark them on the bottom I think there's only two of them that we ended up marking there and here so like these will be like the last 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 ones given out but um, they have the same amount as the yeah, rest of them it. so I have, I have the same mm -hmm. like, so now is it like gonna be like mine I knew that we would have extra chalk, but that's actually oh, not bad. I we have a whole bunch of extra putties, which I was definitely um, expecting. And we have about four packs of tattoos left. Um, some stickers, which are just going to go back into Ella's craft thing. And then I mentioned in the first part of the video, I knew I would have extra of these. Um, but overall, that was really good. We really didn't have a lot extra. So now I'm going to grab some tape and figure out a way to get these things on each uh, without making them fall off. No, we're going <laughs> something like that. I don't know. I just kind of taped them to the back, but but that would be good. All right, guys. The goodie bags are officially done. So obviously, you saw what goes inside. I just ended up taping the little. My cat mm -hmm. is meowing. I ended up taping the little things on the back so like they could easily take them off and they wouldn't get ruined or squished. So that is it. We are officially done. I'm sorry for the kind of lengthy video, but it included the entire haul and putting these goodie bags together. So I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. And I'll see you guys in my next video.